There are lots of fun things that we can do with cards. Another activity is to just to choose two random numbers. So once again, I just have my numbers cards. If we do pull out a 10, that could be worth a zero, and obviously an ace is worth one. So if we turn over two cards, I have got the number 39. So that is the largest number that I can make with my card. So I can record 39. Oh, sorry, that's the smallest number I can make with my cards. The largest number I can make with my cards is 93. So I can write 93 on my board. Next step would be to draw a blank number line. So there is zero. I'm going to make 100 on my number line, but we can change our numbers on either end. I could make it 20 and 120 if I wanted to. I could change my end number to be um, 115. There are no rules with our number lines, but today we are just going to start with 0 and 100. Now I have to try and work out where 39 and 93 would go on my blank number line. I'm going to say that 93 will go around here because 93 is only 7 away from 100. 39, that is a bit tricky. I know that 39 is very close to 40, and I know that 40 is less than 50. So I'm going to say that 39 might go around here because I think that 30 would be about there, and I think 50 would be about there. So that's why I'm thinking 39 is going to be in that position. It's always important to ask your child why they think they put their number there. We want lots and lots of reasoning when we're doing maths. The next step might be to make your smallest number with the paddle pop sticks. So I've got bundles of 10, so I need to get three tens because I know that three tens is 30, and then I need to get nine ones and I can represent my number that way. You might want to ask your child, if I take 10 away, what is your new number? And it would be 29. You might ask your child, what if I add 10 more, what would my new number be? You might want to take one away. You might want to add one more on, and what would our new numbers be? So there's lots of things that we can do with our cards to get us started on some great mathematical thinking. Of course, if your child is too smart for two-digit numbers, we can increase that number into a three-digit number and then we have to try and make our smallest and largest numbers. Obviously our number line is going to be a lot larger. See if they can read their numbers, order their numbers. Ask them how many tens are there in 392. Now we automatically think that there are nine tens in 392 but there's actually 39 tens in 392 because there are 10 tens in 100, so we've got 30 tens here and 9 tens here. That is some pretty tricky thinking though. We might just take it back to 32 and ask your child, well, how many tens are there in 32? How many ones are there? 